I am speaking with Jenny Tong. Jenny, uh, you gave us a demonstration on NodeBots, and we have this amazing demonstration right in front of us. All right, why should I care about NodeBots? Um, NodeBots are a really great way to prototype new kinds of electronics, wearable computers, IoT stuff, anything you want to build, or even hacked board games like we have here. All right, so quickly explain what you, uh, you did here, and then like how we can, from what we learned here, extrapolate to make bigger and better things. Sure. So what I have here is I have a couple of boards here. I have, let me move this out of the way, um, have a microcontroller called an Arduino. It's a microcontroller development kit. Have a Raspberry Pi, another popular computer. Uh, it's a little more powerful and it can, is capable of connecting to the internet and some electronics components. And what you can do is you can take all of these and throw them together with some JavaScript code. And without a lot of time, you can actually make them all interact and also send data to and from the internet, which is really cool. So that's what you did here. We have this giant button here that affects this hippo mm -hmm. over here. Press the button for me. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to work right now because you need Oh, you turned it off. I disconnected the internet. Why'd you disconnect the internet? I was an accident. <laughs> well, that button made that hippo go. Yes. And because what now explain to me what's attached here. Why is that hippo moving? So the, the hip well basically the, the two things are, are actually identical electronics. I'll open up the button in the box. It's pretty much the same board. There's a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino inside of there, which is exactly what you have in front of you um, here. It's the same components. Um, just the, this one has the hippo attached too. And what's happening is um, when the button's being pressed, or this button's being pressed, the yellow one, it's sending a signal out to the internet. It's changing a value in a cloud database, um, which is running on Firebase. Um, and then the, this board here that's attached to the hippo is listening for changes to that value in the cloud. When it sees it, um, it sends a signal to the servo motor to, to move this little dial back and forth, and that causes the hippo to go out and try and eat a, a marble. All right. So this is not that much uh, for electronics. How much am I looking at uh, dollar-wise to set that up? Um, probably about $100 in components. So it's a really, really cheap prototype. So from this, what are, th what are we able to extrapolate from this? I mean, we can do any kind of experiment is, you know, obviously this is not something I can wear, but still it's something to test. What, what, what have you seen or what have, can people do to extrapolate from this to create a wearable device? So um, what you can do to create a, like a prototype wearable device is you can actually, you can probably package these up and stick it on some kind of vest. It's actually surprising what people have worn as computers in the past, but there are better boards, like there's lily pad and some other boards that fit into um, fabric really well. Um, and then you can, you can build out, you can attach other kinds of sensors. Um, you can build prototype fitness bands and that kind of stuff using like um, galvanic skin response sensors, heart rate sensors, um, light sensors, and you can, you can start to prototype the electronics that would go into a production wearable later. Excellent. Jenny, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.